Yo, what is going on people and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing off the Jeep and this Jeep is made by Zeroy. Now it was published on the 17th of November and these Jeeps actually began in 1941. So they're like the old style, you know, Jeep. And they do look like World War II sort of style vehicles. Now, I don't know if they were used in World War II. You probably have to sort that out yourself. Tell me in the comments if they were used for World War II or something like that. But the last video that I made, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen now, of the same style vehicle. A lot of people seem to like that, so I'm going to be showcasing these. Now, there is four different types. I'm not too sure what's the difference. You'll probably see them in the screenshots in a minute. But we are going to jump in game. We're going to test how strong these are, how fast they can go. And basically, just look at them. So leave a subscription, leave a like. Watch out my other videos in later on. You know, after you've watched this, go back. Go and have a little look at my videos. And I'll see you in a minute. So here we have the Jeeps. As you can see, there's many variations. So there's two green ones, one with like some symbol on it. There's also a grey one, it's apparently a dirty one as you can see with the texture at the front, it's a bit dirty. You've got one variation of a camo and then you've got also another camo style vehicle. Now these vehicles do actually use, you know, the main 4x4 wheels from the Daisy. I don't know what the blue one's called, I forgot, it's a hatchback is it? Yeah, I think it is, but it's basically the blue one. So, you spawn them in. It does use the normal car parts for the car radiator. They do have windshields on, so I'll show you me putting that on further on on one of the vehicles that we are going to test. But these vehicles do look like World War II, because I'm sure that starts from something like that. And these vehicles have got to be like that. But it is four seat vehicles. Hopefully, they're going to be like really good, so like they're not going to be super fast, because obviously vehicles from the 1950s didn't go i don't know maybe they went 100 mile an hour but i don't think they did but yeah we're gonna fill up the radiator i do like the texture i think my favorite one is the gray one just because it's got a bit more detail and you know with like the textures rusted away but also these camo ones have rust on you know the front bumper so that's pretty cool how he's done that and the first two the first green ones they are good but they're like brand new versions and obviously we don't like brand new stuff in Daisy because it's Daisy. But you can also put a set, you know, a wheel on the back of the vehicle, and you can also put a gas canister on there. So if you are going to run out of fuel, you'll know where to go. It'll be pretty cool if you could actually tow these vehicles, you know, or get a big chain or something along the lines of that. But that's it. We're going to jump in. I'll show you me putting the window on. I'll show you where the gas is, and how to fill up the radiator so i'll see you in a minute so if you want to refuel the vehicle basically you come to the left side and as you can see there's this somewhat of a circle thing um basically just what you want to do is get obviously gas canister out and then you can refuel the vehicle as simple as that i love when people make it so it's so easy to find because there has been vehicles obviously in the past as you do know where they've been very hard to find so if you want to actually refuel the radiator what you can do is basically just hover over this section here make sure your cursor's above it there you go refuel it now i have taken some tips from you guys in the comments about me and my radiator filling you know my radiator has been cooking a bit too much and we're not obviously cooking food on there so i've decided to use one of these gas things thanks to the guy who said it i, I don't remember your name off by heart but thank you and now obviously the radiator should have a bit more water in it than it normally does now this vehicle has 200 slots as you can see and that's pretty good for the size of this vehicle as you can see i'm bigger than the vehicle and there's actually not no storage space you know there's no boot and if you're from america maybe you know about these cars because it says it usa so this is what the interior looks like so it is simple but obviously these sort of vehicles don't need a lot of interior in them now these textures are nice you know there's nothing wrong with these textures and i do like them but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to spawn in the windshield for this car now you can obviously drive with the windshields or not drive with the windshields it's fully up to you and they were probably maneuverable like back in the day as well you could probably take them off if you fancy them or kept them on 
But I'm going to keep them on for this video because I just want to see a Wimmera. You know, I don't want the dirt to go in my face and I don't want to be blind after it. So we're going to start up the vehicle. So we have the normal Daisy start noise. And this is obviously a normal Daisy sound in game from another vehicle. Now obviously z -Roy's first mod, this is first car mod. So you can't expect a lot from him. He is learning as well. So hopefully in the future he also does make some more of his own mods. But I do like this vehicle up till now. I think the acceleration and the reverse is a bit fast. The acceleration is probably a bit fast as well. But it has how many gears does it have? It has three gears. So this is another one of these vehicles where it doesn't have five gears. But the handle is pretty good, as you can see. I'm going to manoeuvre around this. There you go, I've manoeuvred around that. Let's see if we can get around this dirt pile. There you go, I've manoeuvred around that pretty easy. So this vehicle is pretty easy to manoeuvre around. And easy to handle, so I do like this. But now, what we're going to do is we're going to drive to the airfield. And we're going to see how fast this thing can actually go from 0 to 100. I'll see you when we're there. So now the vehicle is ready to go. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Here we go. Let's see if we can, how long it's going to take. So we're already... I think that this vehicle's acceleration is way too fast. And that should be lowered. Um for a matter of fact that it's just too quick and I don't feel like these vehicles could go this fast never mind you not accelerate this fast so we've hit the 100 kilometers per hour but let's see how fast this bad boy can actually get up to as we do have a lot of runway so let's see obviously it's, it's pushing it's pushing it there it's nearly there it's nearly in the red zone that's basically when you need to stop we might actually get to the red zone in this car. We've never done this before. Can we actually get into the red zone? It's struggling. It's struggling. Right. I don't know what we got up to there. I'll put it on the screen just for you guys to remember. I think it was something like 140. Personally, I think this vehicle could probably get up to 150 max. And I don't think it'll go any further than that. But the braking's pretty strong. As you can see, I've just braked straight away there. Straight away there. And there again. So, if you are braking, you're not going to drive into a wall if you're not going, obviously, 100 mile per hour like I've just been doing, you know, because you can easily brake. And even then, I've just broke then, and we're going like 30, so that is pretty easy. I like how it does actually grip onto the actual steering wheel, as obviously some, sometimes you don't grip onto the steering wheel, the characters, and sometimes the steering wheel also does clip through the legs. Now, obviously, as you can see, the pedals aren't in the right place and on Daisy the actual feet actually move so maybe you could sort out something along the lines of that it's not that important you know but for people that do like driving in third person like me that's what you'll have to deal with now this is what it looks like in third person it does look a bit like a meme this vehicle in a way when you you get what I mean because the character's like so big in a way and then you've just got this like little vehicle but I do actually like this vehicle a lot I do think that it does suit Daisy, and it'll go well with if someone's trying to set up like a World War II style Daisy server, as there also is another vehicle made, I think it's called the Kurok, okay. I can't pronounce it, it's called something weird, but they do have matching vehicles. So I'll see you when we're driving around the streets of Chinaris, so we can actually test the full strength and ability of this vehicle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually test how this vehicle does off-road. So let's see if it likes going around the jagged terrain and spinning around. But we can do a donut. We got out of it. There we go. Let's see how it does, you know, just going off-road. So it does, it is a lot harder to handle. Um, it does like slipping around a bit so it doesn't have as much grip, you know, when you're doing your turns, for example, um, that it should do. I think it's stuck to about 33, you know, the, uh, how fast it can go while it's on there. Oh, it don't like going over sidewalks. But yeah, I think it was stuck to 30, 33 going off-road. But let's let's drive around here, let's see how this is. See, we can blast it really through all these. 
Oh, oh, oh. Can it turn? Let's go down that road there. Let's turn down this road here. Let's see how it does on this sort of road. Yeah, it's still fast on this sort of road. Oh, the car's broke. I think the car's a bit weak. Um, the car's a bit weak if it broke off, you know, them sidewalks. Because literally, man, let's see if the radiator's blown. Radiator's fine. Battery's fine. So it must just be, you know, the actual, yeah, damage. You see. It must be just the um, actual model itself, you know, it's weak. So what I would recommend is obviously also updating the strength on these vehicles as if it breaks then then that's pretty bad but thank you guys for watching this video i really do appreciate it please leave a like and a subscription this mod will be linked in the description i do actually like this um vehicle a lot but obviously i've said in this video what does need to be improved about this thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time adios amigos